hi everyone welcome back to my channel so on today's video what we're going to discuss is how i set up to film instagram videos so a lot of you have asked about my equipment about positioning where i place my tripod how i record videos where my phone is placed so today we are going to discuss lighting positioning of your tripod any special backgrounds that i use on my table where i actually film and i'm also going to show you how i position my cookies my cookie swivel and my icing bag so that i make sure that they come out in the perfect frame for my instagram videos so let's get started okay so the first thing that we are going to discuss is artificial lighting as you can see here i have two mini ring lights this one is from archon mounts and this one i simply got on amazon.com Artificial lighting is very important in case you don't have time to film in the morning or during the day, which is when there is usually daylight. It's also very important in case your room or the place where you are filming is a little bit dark and doesn't have any means of natural lighting. Another source of lighting is definitely natural lighting. As you can see here in my kitchen, there is a huge window and this is preferably where I like to film because during the day, I really don't use a lot of the artificial lighting. I just use the help of natural lighting, which is definitely awesome. As you can see here, I also have a big ring light and this one does come with a stand that is adjustable to make it longer or shorter depending on what you want and you can also adjust the tilt of the actual head here so i'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you can see how bright it gets it's pretty bright and now let me show you against an object here's how our cookie looks with just natural lighting and then here it is with a little bit of help from the ring light so you can definitely adjust the lighting to match whatever it is amount of brightness that you want now let's talk mounts so here i have my archon mount and as you can see this is my preferred way of actually filming my videos because the head and the whole tripod itself is very flexible so you can actually make it longer shorter twisted or pivoted any way that you want so that you're able to get all the angles and the perfect views for your instagram videos or for your youtube channel this tripod oh sorry this tripod also has a little pivot wheel so you can make your tripod longer or you can make it shorter according to whatever it is that you are filming so on my Archon mount is where I actually place my phone so that I'm able to get all the best angles during my cookie decorating. Now let's talk about positioning my lighting using other tripods or other objects since I only have one Archon mount and then some cheapy little tripods. And I'm being very transparent with you guys because that's actually what I use. Okay, so this little tripod or whatever you want to call it i actually got off of amazon and basically what it does is it has a holder for either your phone or a projector and it also has a stick that goes up or comes down so i like to use this specific tripod to hold my lighting and it has a base like this so i'll place this here i'll secure the top there and for this specific tripod during nighttime or very early in the morning i like to place one of my ring lights turn it all the way up and i'll place it at the top there so i can get lighting from every angle for my other source of lighting or tripod i do like to keep this ring light in the center to make sure again that i'm forming kind of like a circle of light so in behind me i actually have my window i have this light i'll have this light here and then the big big light ring ring light i'll have on this side mm -hmm. 
and as you can see as far as that tripod it's only a rubbermaid container with my laptop on top and i like to keep my laptop there in case i have any inspiration colors um, an inspo board on pinterest and another thing that you shouldn't forget is to make sure that you keep your lights connected because these small lights do run out of battery fairly quickly so this little guy over here is actually connected using this connector and this connector is actually from one of my projectors and i like it because it's long so i can position my light anywhere and it'll reach so there's the beginning of our setup we have our lights connected small light connected and let's turn on the big light over here So now we have a very well lit spot for our video. So now let me show you exactly how I position my Archon mount to point this way so that you're able to see your Instagram video. Okay, so this is the view that I see when I am recording Instagram videos. So here you can see that my phone is pointing down onto my backdrop here is the entire setup from exactly how i position my mount so i can make sure to get the shot that i need um, usually i kind of position the mount or move it around the table or higher or lower depending on what angle i need or in case uh, the space that i'm using is too occupied i can just swing it around over on another part of the table now here is the part where I push in my actual cookie on the swivel and as you can see here I still need to position it to where it's in the center of my phone screen. So that's what I do in the beginning before I even press record is I just test out to make sure that I am able to see the swivel with the cookie right in the center of my phone. For this part, I always usually record horizontally. You can certainly record vertical. Um, this way you can repurpose your videos for IGTV and your Instagram feed. I just do it this way and it's worked for me. And here, just make sure that if you are posting this to your feed, that your cookie shot or the cookie swivel is right in the center because Instagram feed cuts to a square in this next clip i want to show you positioning of the icing or the bag of icing that i use and before i actually begin any of the, of the actual piping or flooding or outlining i test out my hand with the angle to make sure that that is exactly how i want my hand to come out in the shot and also something very very important regarding products when you are tagging um, the makers of the products and you want to include them in the shot be mindful of the square that gets cut into the instagram feed and that's how i position my items here and here i leave you with another few uh, photos just so that you can see exactly how the setup looks from different angles I know this video was super wordy there's like a bunch of information um, please let me know if there is any more questions that you have down in the comments I really hope that it's helpful when you're trying your first Instagram video and don't forget the most most important thing is that you don't need all of these things all of this equipment if it's your first video do it with what you have do it with the basics just some natural lighting and your phone and that's it post your video make sure to tag me and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share this video with a friend talk to you later bye